Hey guys, I'm coming to do a reading vlog for this weekend. I'm starting tonight. Sarah, um, from not just her romance novels, um, she's doing a Create Your Own Readathon this weekend, the 13th and 14th. I thought I would start a day early, and I just got home about 20 minutes ago from the bus taking the bus, getting home, because I went to a doctor's appointment. It was, uh, like a physical to get ready for my oral surgery appointment I have on November 7th. And I took a book with me that I was already reading. But I wanted to show the two books I'm going to try to get through this weekend, see how far I can get on them. And the one I took with me was... The Devouring by Simon Holt. And I was on chapter 3, page 19. And I read to chapter 30. So that was about 11 pages I read waiting. And the other one I'm trying, I want to try to see how far I can get through is Corn Wolf by Tristan Egoff. Right now, I am on page 25 in it. And it's like on the third character. They're starting off the book um, discussing the characters, the three characters that I guess are the main ones in the story. And I'm on the third one right now. And I'm having a tough time getting through it. With them starting it off like this. But I'm hoping that after I get through. Um, them discussing the characters that it'll start picking up. That's why I started on the devouring. Because I was starting to lose interest in Corn Wolf, and I wanted something more a little fast-paced. And so far, the devouring is fast-paced, and it's an easy read because the chapters aren't that long. So now I just gotta go figure something out to eat because it's around five thirty. And I don't know what I want yet. And all the cats I have, they're all happy that I'm home. They miss me for being gone for a couple of hours. So I'll spend a little time with them and cook something and probably watch a little booktube or listen to booktube while I'm cooking. And hopefully get some reading done during that too, meantime. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, I wanted to update you. It is 10.09 p.m. And I got to chapter 8, page 77 in The Devouring. And I wanted to give you a quick update on this. I know I keep repeating myself, but this book has got me a little weirded out. Um, I mean, it's a good weird. I mean, I don't read too many horror books. But so far, my understanding of this, that's kind of creepy. Once I tell you what it is, and you'll probably figure it's weird too, but interesting. The start of this book wasn't so bad. It first was telling how people back in, I'm not sure wh what year it was, but they believed in these cr creatures that replace people's souls and take over their bodies. And does whatever. Or it just literally kills them. They f feed on the ones that are scared. 
and it talks about how this one, um, it was a brother or sister. The sister lost her brother due to these creatures, and that's how it ended. And then it jumped to the present time in the book to another brother or sister combo where Reggie is the girl who is the oldest. She's 15 and she helps take care of her brother who is 8. Who, his name's Henry. And um, Reggie works in a bookstore part-time and she came across a diary looking book called The Devouring which was telling the story about how Back in the day, like I said, where this creature took, killed her brother, cause he, cause the creature fed on his fears. Well, this time, they, um, Reggie and her friend Aaron, thought it was just some enjoyable horror book, and thought it would be fun to try to, um. Beat their fears by facing them. Her, Reggie's was facing spiders. And Aaron's was facing um, drowning water. And it's on, it happens on Sorry Night, which is um, winter sol sol solstice. And they... Reggie had put her brother to bed, and she told him to be able to sleep, think of happy times of people that they loved. And they did mention that their mother just up and left one day, so Henry decided to think of his mother, the one that he missed and loved dearly. And then the next thing he knows, he thought he was dreaming that his mother came back because he wished for her to come back. And then the following morning, things have changed. He, Henry was w different. As in, instead of this gentle, loving soul, he turned hard. And he was cold to the touch and... Reggie thought he was just sick, you know, came down with something because she knows that his window was cracked, but the night before it wasn't cracked. And that's where the weird stuff started happening. And as it went on and on, like I had just read the last chapter, she found her brother's gerbil in the toilet and it had somehow got caught up and it was clogging the toilet up and when she pulled the gerbil out his body was broken in several places and but before this too um she came home to finding her brother's babysitter dead on their couch so they deal with one death and then and then she finds her brother's gerbil dead which is random so far two deaths in a matter of like three days I think two three days and it's kind of freaking her out because she doesn't know what's going on with her brother. She doesn't know why all these things are dying. Or how her father, who... Their father is, like... Um, emotionally withdrawn from them. But it's like the father's taking his son's side... And making Reggie to be out the bat be the bad person, and she's not. She's looking out for him. And the end of chapter seven, Henry tried to kill her friend Aaron, 
all he did was come over and try to help bury the gerbil and have a talk with Henry to see what was going on. And Henry attacks him for no reason. This is an eight-year-old kid beating up a 15-year-old kid. It's kind of freaky. I mean, it's turned out to be a really good horror flick, but it's it's creepy. It, it, it almost like... Have you ever seen the supernatural? It almost has the supernatural vibes with all the things that the brothers had to fight and deal with. And that's what this kind of lies on is it the supernatural creepiness. But. I'll have to keep going and see what else is going to happen because it's getting really weird and it's late at night. But I can't help it because I can't put it down. It keeps keeps you going because you never know what's going to happen next around the corner. That's my quick update for you guys. And if you don't hear back from me tonight, I'll get a hold of you in the morning sometime. Bye guys. The cat life. Hey Milo, can you read my book for me since you're laying on it and tell me what happens? Is that possible that you could possibly read that for me? Hmm? Hey guys. It's 713. Figured I'll give you a small snippet of what's going on. I am on page 167, chapter 16 of The Devouring. I am over 70% through this. And it's really picking up as far as the story goes. Um, a lot has happened since I talked to you guys last night. Um, Reggie and Aaron has really figured out what's been going on with her brother Henry. He does have this creature, the flower, in him. And he's been causing chaos and whatnot. Um, then Reggie, Aaron, and her, Reggie's boss, Eben, had figured out who wrote this book called The Devouring, which is like a journal, and it had to deal with the two who first dealt with the devour. <clears throat> They did some research and went to the town that um, they lived at and found the house, went in, was investigating it just to figure out what was going on, see if they could find clues to help them out. And they found a hidden room down in the basement where they kept um, the girl who lost her brother had chained him in the basement years ago. Apparently he was alive. He didn't die uh, back then when the devourer took him. Apparently um, the sister had chained her brother up to a chair in this room, surrounded it with glass, and left him there because she wanted to capture this creature, the devourer. And when they saw the room, it was just a corpse um, from him being dead for years. And all they could see was smoke in the room, and it was the creature called the devourer. And um, it was feeding on their fears. Well, they left, 
and Reggie decided to go back the following day without anybody and confront the Bauer about how to defeat them and whatnot. And she killed it by freezing it with the CO2 that's in um, the things that put out the fires. And it turned into some sort of weird thing. And then spiders came out of this. And she killed all the spiders but one. She chose to f defeat her fear of spiders by eating it. And it had a little bit of that creature smoke in it. And apparently it was enough... Of the creature for it, for her to still be human and keep her soul, but be connected to any of the vowers. And the part where I'm at right now, Aaron and Reggie are making a plane to go after Henry, the the thing that's in Henry, and finish the job um I'm really enjoying it because since it took a turn in uh in events it's it's getting better now that I'm seeing what they're having to do and go through and gather up clues it's kind of being put together And I'm hoping to have this finished by tonight before I go to bed. So I'll check in with you guys later or possibly tomorrow, depending how on how late it gets. Uh, bye. I wanted to show you guys what kind of weather we're having today. It's snowing. Crazy. <clears throat> hey guys. Um, I did finish last night devouring. It was really good. And it makes me want to read the second book in the set. If I can find it, that is. And so far today, I've read a little over... 20 pages and corn wolf I'm still in the area where they're discussing certain characters that play a big part in the story I'm ha I'm still having a little trouble getting through it but I'm going to try to keep trudging through before I make a decision if I want to DNF it or not and that's my update for now. Bye. Hey guys. Um, just checking in for the last time before I put this vlog up. I didn't read any more last night. I ended up not feeling good and had a bad headache and took a two and a half hour nap and still woke up not feeling good. So... I just took the rest of the evening to feel better. I hope that you guys enjoyed my first attempt to a reading vlog for this weekend. And if you did, please like and share. And if you would like to see me do another weekend reading vlog, let me know. And y'all have a good week. Take care.